we are back again. I told you today we're just we're like that. Interview after interview after mm -hmm. interview. Is it so? Welcome back to the show. The show is Rock Tour live right here. The hashtag is Rock Tour 254. Now, right about now, a big shout out to Marsh, by the way. I can see Marsh, you are tuned. You and your friends, a big shout out to all of you. You have a request. And I say, I'm going to 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 say, I was out to the next tattoo. Next tattoo? Hmm. Okay, Marsh, soon as yeah. next Saturday, just stay hmm. here, right? Yeah. But thank you so much for staying with us. And we have another guest, and he is not a singer, but he's an author. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> a metal author. A metal author. Mm -hmm. How often do you hear that? How? Yeah. Like, yo, this is the rock, class. we're just here to teach you. Rock to us. Schooling. Rock tour. Schooling. Be easy. Schooling and every love. day. And appreciate. Right. Yes. His name is Edward Bunch. Bunch. Welcome to the show. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for coming mm. through. Now, first of all, uh, just um, tell us about um, you? the inspiration about uh, how you actually got started. I know, like, I have to ask that. Every mm. Everyone has to tell us about their journey. But for you, how did that start? Have you met you, No, mm. not be, before the book. Just you as an author. How did you get started? Writing? Yeah. Mm. I, I didn't really... I uh, grow up really with an ambition to be a writer or <laughs> be an author. It just sort of happened. Um, uh, it happened. I just was in college and graduate school. I was, yeah. ended up writing a lot, which mm -hmm. gave me a lot of confidence. And professors right. that I had gave me confidence to be, mm -hmm. uh, to at least think that writing is something I could pursue. I'm more of a political scientist by training. Mm -hmm. So very academic, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but, you know, the metal writing happened because I love it. And it started with a book, the first thing I ever really published. Oh, that is the first book you ever wrote. First book I ever wrote. The first wow. article I ever got published in a major newspaper yeah. was right, about... So um, I'll need a favor from you. You can just uh, hold it so that the guys at home can yes, see it. We can zoom in. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're going to be doing that. We're going to be showing the guys at home. You can mm. just frame it and then they can show it to the guys at home. Mm. Now, Heavy Metal Africa, that is the title. What does that even mean for someone who's seeing the book for the heavy first time? Heavy Metal Africa is yeah. my journey into Africa's heavy metal scenes. Mm. Uh, that's it. Various African countries. Just very straightforward. Very straightforward. It's, uh -huh. a, it's a scene, sort of scene formation. So mm -hmm. I, when I, when I, I traveled through the African countries I did for this book. Um, mm -hmm. I just uh, started asking musicians that uh, started the early bands in the country, the mm -hmm. present bands, and some even some up-and-coming bands, so young right. bands. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it. I just really wanted to get a better understanding of what shaped them, what made mm -hmm. their music, right. and what challenges they faced, right. and what the countries were like themselves as well. I don't think Africa ever really gets put on a uh, really gets seen positively and I, oh, I was really yeah, hoping that people true. would change yeah, uh, their minds because yeah. it's a different story from Africa it really is right. mm -hmm. but um, I also want to know so for you to just you just didn't wake up and then did that what inspired no. you to I'm a lifelong yeah, yeah I'm a lifelong rock and metal fan since I was yeah. in grade school I really fell in love with uh, heavy metal and rock music and as an adult I pursued Africa mm -hmm. academically Mm -hmm. I told you I was oh, studied politics. Yeah. Small lesson. yeah. So then I, when I went to, I wanted to pursue Africa there and uh, in college or yeah. universities we say in America. Yeah. And um, I went to graduate school in the University of London, England, at yeah. the School of Oriental and African Studies, and got a master's in African Studies. Right. Wow. Post-colonial politics has always been my okay. my interest, but. Mm -hmm. Being a lifelong metal fan, I really just put the, the two together yeah. because people then, kept asking me about rock and metal in yeah. Africa, and I couldn't answer the question. How the scene was right yes. like here in yes. Africa. Yeah. So. so what did you learn about this in, like while writing the book? Uh, that, it's, that it's deeper than um, it appears that the, the scenes and rock scenes and metal scenes in Africa have been around longer than I assumed as well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, and that it's bigger uh, mm -hmm. than I first thought. Uh, I think the social media pages that I was using to research the scene were just meeting people online. Uh, mm -hmm. It was very small, like one or two guys here. Well, maybe there's one rocker, two rockers in Kenya. There's one rock band here. Uh, no, when I was here in person the, for mm -hmm. the first time, I saw how big it was, and I was just meeting people every day, and I really got to learn a lot about uh, the rock and metal scene here. Ah, so, so what surprised you most? <laughs> what did you find out that you were like, wow, I had no idea that actually was there. So what did you, what surprised you while you are doing your research? Uh, by, by, by country or like by, by the whole? Just, just general, the, the whole general, scene yeah. in general. Uh, yeah. Really, really just, just what I kind of touched on, how, how big it was, mm -hmm. how big it is. I really only talk about six countries. Yeah, six countries, yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, and I mean, I could keep going. And I just, right. before I came to, 
I uh, Kenya, I flew here from Togo, mm -hmm. oh, West right. Africa, and I, I was at a metal show there. Yeah, right. With a band from Ghana as well. So oh, there was Togo Lees in Ghana list? represented. There was there's bands all through North Africa. Nigeria's oh. got something kicking up. Yeah, I'm told there you know there's a rock festival in Ouagadougou, Burkina mm -hmm. Faso. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Whoa. you know there's there's more coming. It's yeah. it's just really coming along ah. quite well. I didn't get awesome. to go to Angola for the book, and Angola has a massive rock and metal scene. Yeah. Yeah. The likes, yeah. All right. So I know most people would want to go check the book out and also because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of Personally, I've read it, yeah. and it's, it's a very interesting book. I'm reading it now for the second time. Oh, good, it's really good. Cool. And also, I like it because I'm also in the book. Oh, uh, yes, he is. Yeah. That's he's so <laughs> yeah. He is. Actually, I met him the last time I was yeah. here on the the night before I left. Mm. Oh. If I'm not mistaken. I left the following morning yeah. to yeah. fly back home, and mm. I met him that, mm. that night, and he was the last interview I squeezed in for that book. I yeah. remember he mentioned it on the show. He was mm. like, yo, guys, with this book, you got to go check it out. Heavy metal. Yeah. <laughs> he mentioned it on the show. I didn't think it was actually an awesome, but he didn't tell me about it. He was like, no, I think you should just go read it. Mm. I actually can't tell you about it mm. a lot. But it just meant it's about metal. That's what he told me. It's, about rock, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a little more than that, too. Yeah. Have you read it? Yeah. Like, I do talk about that, yeah. Yeah. the it's, countries and the yeah, musicians here opened yeah. up about some issues that they were mm. uh, they wanted to you talk to me about. about. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, I didn't push them. I, uh, they they just, just opened up. That is really cool. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I was no. just curious. Okay, so where is the book available if someone at home is looking to buy it? Yeah, from Kenya, I would say I know that people told me from the Amazon UK sites. Yeah, I could ship it. To people from here it's oh, a bit it's a bit pricey yeah, yeah. Uh, i don't think there's any it. unless there's a book retailer here that wants to order some copies and oh. keep it here so it's not available locally not that i'm aware of no oh. i'm sorry like i don't so. think there's any bookshops here in kenya that sell it all mm. right so so give us a social media handle so that if there's someone out there who's looking to maybe get the book they can maybe talk to you directly and then you can get them on where they can get them i yeah. at heavy metal africa instagram at heavy metal africa Twitter, you know, Facebook, Heavy Metal Africa. You yeah. can follow me also personally, Edward Banks, B A N C H S. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, we can, whatever, and if you really want, uh, yeah. I can maybe work out something. I can send you guys a PDF if you're in Kenya. If you like oh. that, that's really dope. You know, I don't. Yeah, I think, would love that. I think yeah. some people can get it on. You can always buy it on the digital readers. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think that costs very much money. Oh, I know okay. that the the pesa is you know a little much for for Kenyans. <laughs> I know the earning rates. <laughs> oh, you like make you laugh. Nina Sema Kiswahili. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Awesome. I can see that. Nili Soma Kiswahili in London. Yes, yes, yes. A kikuyu name by the way. What's his name? Just a kikuyu name. In Joroge. In Alangu in Joroge. At in Joroge. <laughs> Not Njoroge, it's Njoroge. Njoroge. They gave me the name last okay. time. It was it was our friend, it was a we DJ have Switch. We have Njoroge. It was the bass player from uh, last year's tragedy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He gave me the name. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I I love seeing him on stage yesterday. But now if you wanna see or actually talk to him, he's gonna be Edward Bunch, that's it. He's gonna be tonight. You're going to Crooked yeah. Q, right? Oh yeah. yeah he's gonna course. be there. So come through tonight. It's going to be heavy and the book is going to be there. Maybe talk to him. He'll let you know on how you can get your hands on this book. But thank you so much for coming through. It's been such a pleasure. I wish you had more time, right? Yeah. I wish you had more time to talk mm -hmm. more. But you can always come back. Can you tell me around? Come. You can always come back. I will be show. coming back to Kenya. Right. Awesome. Thank you always. so much okay. for coming through. All right. Okay, cool.